Mercedes Carmeni, and she's in the studio with the biggest bunch of flowers you have ever seen. Oh. <laughs> Hydrangea. Hydrangea. Miss Hydrangea. Well, yes, Miss Hydrangea. And I've got to say, there's not one person, even a non-gardener, would yep. could not love a Hydrangea. They all love them. Well, it's yeah. certainly a, so a showstopper and a show-off. Very or or ornamental. Um, it's also known as old granny shower caps or mop head. Oh yes, I, I knew about mop heads, but I hadn't heard, hadn't heard granny shower caps. But there you go. Uh, do you think it looks yeah, like I think one? it does. Well, those old bathing things that Correct. they used to wear, the bathing caps. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Now the fields are alive with yes. the sight of hide ranger. Yes, Yes, I've got to say I've got a few as well, and I like all the different types. So you've got an armful of mop heads. I do, I do. I've brought first grade and oh. second grade. So the um, pink is first grade. Um, if you are after drying hydrangea, you need to think first grade quality, and they usually have bigger heads and bigger petals. Um, and you know, if you add the solution glycerin. Um, that'll accelerate the drying process or you can be old-fashioned a bit like me and um, just dry it out with a little bit of water in the vase and watch it suck it until there's nothing there. Oh the glycerin goes in the vase with the water. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Accelerates the drying okay. process. Um, now it has a woody stem as you can see here. Yes, very thick um, and woody. Thicker than a pencil even. Yeah yes. indeed and they find it very difficult to drink so you need to get a pin which I didn't bring in with me uh, this evening and insert the pin at the feet um, this will then open up the um, you the know vascular system so that correct, you can actually the word. In, in hot in yes in uh, vibe the water <laughs> yeah 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 and because they're female you need to cut the stem on an angle um, and well, they are a bit tricky to cut into um, yeah. but they're waterholics a bit like some people I know that are alcoholics, but these are the waterholics of the cut flower okay. um, kingdom. Um, now, with Hydrangea, once you buy them, you need to automatically bring them home and drown them. So the whole head needs to be submerged into burped water. Yes. And burped water means water that has been standing for about four hours. Okay, so a bucket of water, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, perfect. And the legs are in the air for oh. Miss Hydrangea. Okay. So a minimum of 15 minutes and a maximum of, you know, 45 minutes or even an hour and then every day they need to be misted because the reason why they're called hydrangea is because they need hydration. Yes, because that's Greek for water and jar. Correct, yes. water and jar, mm. absolutely. Now it's definitely my second favourite flower. My first is the orchids, mm. of course. Now they're available in autumn, spring and early summer. Now if you're growing them, this is a tip for the listeners, you need to cut them off the shrub because it is a shrub and it is a perennial mm. before the sun goes up and just before the sun goes down. And the reason why is you need to cut it with a full bladder of starch. Otherwise they will dry out too quickly It'll or they'll wilt. They'll wilt yeah, very so, quickly. Yeah, yeah, so even if you drown it, recut the stem on an angle because it's a female. Oh, and speaking of cutting on the, ste the stem on an angle, you need to cut above the nodes, so above the... Above the, where the leaf attaches to the stem, the, yeah. the scar, we call that a node. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, above the node. Okay. Yeah, I call them kneecaps. Kneecaps. Yeah, nodes, nodes is the I did notice you called them kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> but <coughs> if you've got secateurs, it's probably easier to cut the stem because it's quite hard. So, yeah. Now you would know this and so would the listeners, you buy a plant that is pink, you bring it home, you dig a hole and then it becomes blue. Mm -hmm. Now it's all because of the acidity or the pH level in the soil. So don't be fooled by Miss Hydrangea. But I'll share another tip, still wool, don't throw it out if it's used. Um, okay. Dig it into the roots of your Hydrangea and if you've got a soft pink, it'll become a dark pink. Ah, right, mm. so it's still wool. Yeah, right. it, interestingly, the time to change the colour though, if you want to use the powders that they sell in the supermarkets and the you know the garden centres, you have to actually do it in winter. It's no good doing it now. Right. Too late. You'll okay. never change it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a, yeah. that's a good tip for me. Thank you for that. Now anniversary. It's the fourth year. Um, it's native to Japan and China. Yes. And I'd like to talk about the Emperor of, oh, good. of oh, Japan. Because I have been mentioning the mm. Emperor, yes, that he's been a naughty boy, so he had yes. two mm. So when he's a naughty boy, he gifts his maids, Hydrangea, because it's it's a token of, I'm sorry. It is. Yeah, in Japan. 
of course. Um, <laughs> and in Western culture, if you're a female or even a male and you're not, not interested in the person that's just sent you red roses, you then gift him Hyde Ranger because it means I'm, I'm not interested. Yeah, that's a good one. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll get the message? <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. Now, it comes in an array of colours, uh, white, cream. Yes. The it doesn't come in yellow. Have you seen it in yellow? No. I haven't either, no. but I thought I'd ask you that question. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't come in yellow. Mm. And the pinks and the blues, varying yep. shades of, and of Correct. course, like you say, if you, if you grow well. yep. yeah, purple, if you grow one yeah. and it changes colour, mm. the only one that doesn't change colour is the white. It doesn't? No, it, it stays well, I'm white. white. I'm buying white. Buying white all the way. Now, every colour has a meaning, and we'll probably yes. need another show for that. Um, but when it, when it comes to purchasing it, you need to make sure that the head is firm. Okay. So if it feel it feels a bit weak, don't buy it. If it looks right. a bit like it needs a holiday, don't buy it. Okay. But if it looks wilty by the time you're enjoying it at home, the first thing you need to do is drown it. Just drown it in the bucket of water or your bath even. Indeed. Now if you want to strengthen the stem, have you heard of the um, salt called owl? Uh, yes I have, but I don't see it around much. Maybe it's quite forest. rare, you're right. Yeah. Um, just stand your um, feet in it okay. and that will then inject into the feet area okay. and then it will go up the vascular system as yes. it starts to suck up the water yes. and that will keep your stems strong. Alan. Okay, Alan. Yeah. Indeed. Maybe find it in your hardware store probably or the garden centre possibly or the chemist. Yeah. Now it does have hairy legs and what do I mean by that? It does have foliage on its oh, stem. Yes. <laughs> you need to remove the um, the foliage before you enjoy them in, in water and um, no hairy legs in the water so no leaves in the water yeah because it just makes the water stagnant and yeah accelerates aging like you keep exactly saying exactly right <laughs> now they're a high-end cut flower so you're looking at anywhere between 45 and 60 dollars a bunch at the moment they then become a lot cheaper as we go into January and at the end of January is that because because everyone's growing. 30. Oh, okay. Is that because everyone's growing them in their garden and they're. There's a lot more of it. There's more of it, yes. Yeah. So when there's more of something, it becomes cheaper. Did you know that there's one variety called Endless Summer that flowers constantly right through to autumn? Really? Uh, yeah, it's repeat flower. And it's actually an old variety that's been rebranded. And uh, there's someone wow. I know who's standing here holding holding a mobile phone while this is going on Facebook Live, Hi, <laughs> who's Hi. got an endless summer, and she's been bragging, bragging that it first flowers all year. I need uh, I need to get a, um, a cutting a cutting of that. Yeah. Um, do they um cut, like can you grow yes. them from cuttings? Absolutely. That's how you do grow them. You right. you cut um in winter when yep. when you're doing a bit of pruning you cut them about the length of a pencil yes. and with a couple of big fat buds on it yep. and uh, not except at the bottom and just shove them into the ground somewhere somewhere yep. shady or in a pot or potting mix. Yep. And, and they'll take off. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, speaking of shady. Yep. Um, when they're in a vase, they do well in floral foam actually, okay. um, I need to mention that. But if you want to retain the colour, the richness of colour, you need to keep it out of the um, direct sunlight. Yeah, so not a lot of sunlight. Mm -hmm. um, keep it away from ripening fruit, so not near a fruit bowl. Yep. Don't don't leave it underneath your air conditioning because air conditioning absorbs yep. moisture in your cut flowers. It'll dry it out. It'll dry it out. But look, if you're after drying it out, it might be a good thing. Good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it does have attractive cousins, and I'd like to talk okay. about mock orange and decora. So it comes from a, a family that is very good looking. Oh yeah. Yeah, but no ugly cousins no. in the oh, list. Yeah, they're no. all good looking. There's a couple of plants that go by as mock orange. One is the Maria, that's mock orange, as well as um, another oh, one. Right. Chilidopus. Yeah. Oh, oh, you like that? Yeah, yeah, I find the perfume a bit overwhelming. I don't mind the perfume. Oh, okay. yeah, see how we're different? There's a market for everybody. If there is indeed. Now, before I wrap it up, um, I'd like to uh, share with you what it symbolises. It symbolises gratefulness and pride and it celebrates with heartfelt praises and appreciation thank you uh, in western culture it also spells out to the receiver like i said earlier i am not interested, interested. yeah that's a good one <laughs> i think ladies prick up your ears take notice once again mercedes thank you so much for coming in with a great bunch of flowers and uh, look forward to next week's
episode. But yeah, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me.